Is TP-Link's EAP660 HD actually capable of 2.5 gigabit data transfers? I think it is, although I am apparently unable to test it and prove that it is in fact. So TP-Link sent over a 2.5 gigabit capable switch. I've done a overview and unboxing of the switch. It's the SG3210XHP-M2, I believe is the actual model number. It works perfectly fine. As far as I can tell, I have tested it with 10 gig networking uh, with some SFP modules. I've tested it with 2.5 gigabit networking uh, via ethernet and that seems to work. So the last thing I wanted to test was doing uh, the 2.5 gigabit bandwidth test over Wi-Fi and that's where I failed dramatically. So it turns out that the MacBook Pro, while Wi-Fi 6 capable, uh, is actually limited, handicapped? I don't know what the right word is. Um, it is not fully capable of achieving the speeds that are available to Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 6 enabled devices. So as it turns out, if you're on 802.11ax, so that's the Wi-Fi 6, on the five gigahertz band, which you need to be if you wanna hit speeds anything close to two gigabit per second, um, and you'll have to be on the 80 megahertz band, or, or sorry, you have to have the bandwidth of 80 megahertz on your uh, whatever channel that you choose. Um, okay, so we got all that. And now if we look here on Apple's website, this thing is, all, is limited to 1200 megabits per second. 1200. So that like defeats the purpose, in my opinion, of even having Wi Fi 6 at all on this thing. Like, come on, you were this close, this close. No wonder why my Wi Fi transfers have been so, so slow. I had no idea. Ah, oh, it's disappointing. So, uh, just to show you like how I'm doing this test, right? So, of course, I'm using Unraid. On my Unraid server, I'm hosting iPerf 3. Um, and, and that's being the server for iPerf. I have it connected, actually, yeah, I have it connected to one of the 2.5 gigabit ports with its 10 gig network adapter. I have my gaming computer over there in the corner that is also has a 10 gig capable NIC in it. And when I do transfers with iPerf, I guess not really transfers, when I do an iPerf test between the two, um, you know, I'll hit like 2.3 gigabit per second. So really close to that 2.5 gigabit uh, threshold. And then of course, I'll show you what it looks like here on my Mac. So let's go ahead and just do a UD, UDP test uh, to see if we can get close to two, 2G. Obviously we can't, so looks like we're hitting 840, 918 megabits per second um, via UDP, that's pretty good. And I'll just go back up here and do a um, TCP one with 10 parallel uh, transfers or whatever you want to call it. And so 757, 687, 725, 740. So that's doing pretty well. Obviously, I think I'm I'm limited on my Mac here. I think that my MacBook is the, the true cap. And even though it says that we can achieve uh, gigabit speeds, I don't think the Mac will actually do anything over 900 megabits per second. I've gotten really close, really, really close to one gigabit, but it it's never actually done it, if that makes sense. I've never actually hit that speed. So I'll just do a single test real quick, the single stream for fun, 720, 690. I'm guessing I'm getting some interference with the camera and my, uh, and my uh, access point, because now I'm not even getting close to 900. Well, okay, whatever the fact, I should I should be getting, I should be there. I should be able to hit 900 megabits per second and I'm just not. So um, I had told TP-Link I was gonna make this video and show off the EAP 660 HD and be like, oh look, it can do 2.5. And unfortunately I'm not able to. So sorry about that TP-Link, uh, no hard feelings, right? Thanks for sending me that awesome switch, sorry. Uh, the switch is working fine. It's clearly capable of doing 2.5G. Uh, so I think I'm gonna have to try and locate a actual Wi-Fi 6 device um, Well, okay. I have a Wi-Fi 6 device. I have to locate a Wi-Fi 6 device That's capable of hitting 2G apparently because that's just not happening with anything I have at my home uh, So that kind of sucks um, <laughs> But we'll figure that out and as far as the actual switch goes uh, That thing has been working great in my testing um, Willie Howe from he's another youtuber 
I uh, highly suggest checking out his channel, by the way. He actually mentioned to me that his had a problem where it would, it. I think it like stopped working after he powered it on and off a few times. I haven't run into that issue yet. Switch seems to be doing fine. And, you know, I've tested it with some modules, or I've put some modules in it to do some testing at 10 gig speeds. That seems to be fine. Uh, more on that later, we'll be making a dedicated video to 10 gig networking on that switch. Uh, and we'll be using iPerf as well. Anyway, so all of that seems to be um, working fine. I, no complaints yet. Uh, of course, if anything does go wrong with the switch, like if it fails for any reason, I will report it. But so far, so good. So anyway, we're going to end on that disappointing note. And yeah, you got me. You got me. Sometimes you try and fail and, well, that's all you can do, right? All right, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. All right, I'll see you next time. Peace.